So today we're going to be making a fire piston. The first thing we need is a piece of copper pipe, about five inches long. We'll cut that off with a pipe cutter. Now we've got to deburr the inside. I'm going to use a knife for that. And you want to make a bit of a chamfer so that later when we make the plunger it will go in easy. Now we need to cut a groove for the o-ring in the end of this piece of dowel. about a quarter inch from the end mark a line all the way around now I'll take a small file and smooth out the groove Now we'll check it with the o-ring, see if it goes in the pipe. Still don't quite fit, so we'll have to file a bit more. Almost need to go a little more. I want it to fit in tight, but not too tight. I think that's about right. Now, for the sliding easier, we're going to have to oil it a little bit. Now, I'm going to take a quarter inch drill bit and drill a hole in the end to hold the tinder. Just a little over a quarter inch deep. Now we're going to need a solder or a cap on the end of our piece of copper pipe. This is half inch copper pipe. We want to clean up the end a little bit so it solders good. Put a little bit of flux on it. Now we'll let it cool down. Now we've got it soldered on. Now you can clean it up a little bit with sandpaper if you want, you don't have to. So that's the cylinder part done. 
Now we'll go back to the piston and we need to, we'll take the o-ring off so we can put it in easier because now we need to measure the length we need to cut this out and we want to give just, we want to cut it just a little bit shorter because we're going to attach this knob and that way when you shove it all the way down in the cylinder it won't bottom out and put out your coal Now that we've got the piston cut to length, we're going to attach this knob that I turned in the lathe. Could also use a drawer knob or some other round thing. Makes it easier to hold and shove it through your hand. Now I'm going to demonstrate making a fire with this fire piston. As you see, I've put a little bit of oil on it. Now we take a piece of char cloth and fold it. Put it in the end. Now we insert it just a little bit into the cylinder and hit it as hard as we can. Now we got a glowing ember. Now we dig that out carefully. I'm going to add a little bit of dry rot. Now I'm going to take some birch bark to hold it all down. And now blow on it until it goes into flame. Now I'm going to put it out before it fills my whole shop with smoke. <laughs> 